And people so word have it that Tyler Perry threw a big inauguration down in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The grand opening of Tyler Perry Studio. The grand opening. You know what I'm saying? And they said every black star, every black fallen angel attended the inauguration. Of his, I mean, it was like a big party down there. I mean, you best believe it was a big sausage party. But uh, let's go ahead and break this news, people. Start spreading the news. Okay, before I get into this news report, I want to, you know, as all normal, I want to let you guys know that, you know what I'm saying, I go live every afternoon over on my Facebook fan page with a live show, you know what I'm saying, and also you can follow that Facebook fan page, you can go there by going to www.gospel. TalkTV.com. That's www.gospeltalktv.com. And also celebrating our new launch of our podcast. We have a brand new Illuminati Exposed Media Podcast. That's www.illuminati.com. ExposedMedia.com. Both links will be in the description area below. All right. So let me let me let me let you know something, people. As you know, in order for a um, a business to become a big success, it had to be a sacrifice made. I'm going to tell you like this, people. In order for a business to become a big success, a sacrifice has to be made. And you best believe that this Tyler Perry studio, the opening of this Tyler Perry studio, either this, the reason why it took them so long, because a sacrifice had to be made, people. You best believe, I guarantee you, it's either somebody's... And I don't don't think I'm being perverted when I'm saying this. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, let you know what goes on. Because everything, everything is worked out, you know what I'm saying, with your witchcraft and voodoo. That's what these witches and warlocks is all about. So, when I say these derogatory words... Don't get offended. This is how it is. You best believe on that studio, on the grounds, it's either a penis, a human penis, buried on that ground. I know it may sound perverted, but this is this is part of their rituals that they do. Either it's a human penis buried on that ground, or it is a, a baby fetus. Not a baby fetus. I mean, a dead baby corpse buried on that ground, or maybe it is a just a human dead corpse buried on the ground. But you best believe, if he haven't came up with a blood sacrifice, you best believe it's already been done and it's buried on that grounds, on the grounds of that studio. That is the only way a company can um can can prosper. You know what I'm saying? The same way I put it like this, um uh, a couple of months ago I did a report on a um a funeral parlor, a funeral home in Detroit. And the owner of that funeral home in Detroit had um passed away. And then when they went to go uh gut the funeral home out, I guess to renovate the funeral home, up in the ceiling it was boxes and boxes of dead babies in the ceiling. That was a ritual. And that funeral home, as long as that owner was alive, that funeral home prospered. That funeral home got all the of the big accounts, all of the big city accounts. Why? Because that owner was a ritualist and you see you have ritualists all in your backyard people that you not, might not think are ritualists are ritualists you know what I'm saying people that you look at and you they, you think they're crazy because they talking to themselves somebody put a jack on that boy you see what I'm saying people so don't take these things for you know what I'm saying lightly you know what I'm saying Tyler Perry did the did many sacrifices this is a big this let me tell you something this is a big project 
this is caught headline news. Well, I don't know if it caught headline news. I know it caught, you know what I'm saying, uh, alternative news. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is big. And they said every every star have attended this event. And being at every star attended this event, you best believe, like I said, you best believe there was either a penis buried on that ground, a human fetus, I mean uh a, a, a baby or a human body buried on that ground. If not there is a sacrifice coming pretty soon in Tyler Perry's career. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Being that this is just a, a, a plot of land. This is a plot of land. This is a business. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's got to be done either before or after. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm reading the news report. They said, oh, this is the largest studio outside of Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot, the largest studio. I, th- I think it's the only studio in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? You you best believe it. After that n- n- inauguration, after that party, you best believe it was some sodomite activity going on back in them damn hotel rooms. Let me tell you something. Just like Jeezy said, if the walls can talk, if the walls of them hotel rooms can talk, they will tell you some stuff. Especially after this Tyler Perry damn party. You know what I'm saying? Of celebrating the grand opening of his um, studio. But anyway, this is news. Um, like I said, um, uh, if you want to tune in to my live shows, more detailed shows, I do um, live shows over my Facebook fan page. More detailed than these little videos. So you can go over there, over to my Facebook fan page at www.gospeltalktv.com. That's www.gospeltalktv.com. The link will also be in the description area of this show. Also, we have a brand new podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uncut Raw. Telling it like it is. You know what I'm saying? That's www.illuminatiexposedmedia.com. And that link is also in the description area of this show also. Check out both of them links. Subscribe to both of them links. And you will always be informed. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Greens, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, rat, you name it. Greens, greens, potatoes.